Hey everybody, this is uh, Head Rush. It is one of the You Don't Know Jack games that I have not played, and I've played almost all of them. Tomorrow's like not a school day or something? How many people do we have playing? Thank you. All by yourself, huh? Great, less work for me. Why don't you type in your name? Alright, buddy, hit the number of the icon you want. Okay, your buzzer's gonna be the letter B. The only Yo No Jack game I have not played is uh, Head Rush, or um, this game, obviously Head Rush, um, and Volume Six: The Lost Gold. Don't worry about it. Friends are overrated. So here's what you gotta do. Question flies in. You know the answer, so you buzz in and you choose either one, two, three, or four. Then you either win a bunch of cash if you get it right, or you lose, and I take away all your money and I humiliate you. Got it? On your marks. Get set. Uh, yes. Category, please. Hmm. This one's called... I am not a robot, but I act like one in the movies. $10,000 for this one. Strange right, so animation. If Arnold Schwarzenegger's next action flick were called Benedict Arnold, what would you expect to see? A traitor black... Benedict Arnold is America's most famous traitor. <laughs> yeah, my so obviously these questions are tailored slightly down younger down than the um, regular... This is almost like... Um, Okay, I need a college category. Jeopardy, basically. Coming at you. Creative ways to tackle the first baseman. Twenty thousand bucks for a correct answer. Okay. Now you all know primetime Deion Sanders, right? Well, you know how his uniform number in baseball and football is twenty-one. Suppose primetime wants to have a prime number on his uniform. What number should Deion Sanders use? Twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four, or twenty-five? Since 23 can only be divided by itself or 1 without leaving a remainder, it's a prime number. <laughs> you can if tell when this was made. So much money, you wouldn't think he'd have to hold down two jobs. Go figure. Because Dion is not an uh, athlete anymore. Your attention, please. Attention. You just picked a dis or dash. This dis or dat questions category is here's your diploma and ten million dollars. Listen up, I'm gonna read off seven NBA players, and for each one, I want you to tell me if they were drafted straight out of high school or after playing in college. As each name comes up, hmm. if they were fresh out of high school. Press one. Unfortunately, if this one precedes two, LeBron James. For each right answer, oh boy, I'm not. My NBA knowledge is not great. I'm an NFL person. Can we see the monkey timer, please? And we're up. Kobe Bryant, drafted from high school. Or Marcus Camby. I don't know about Marcus Camby. Kevin Garnett. Allen Iverson. Hey. No. Joe Smith. Last one, Chris. Well, I know Chris Webber. The infamous timeout. They didn't do Michael Jordan. That would have been a, a good trick one because everyone would have assumed high school. But no, he played in college. Like anyone else. Alrighty, pick one. May I introduce Ice Cube, man or frozen treat? And it's worth 20,000 bucks if you get this one right. Hey, check it out. You've just been invited to chill at rapper Ice Cube's house for cocktails. Nice. When rapper Ice Cube invites his friends over to his house, he likes to serve him a glass of water made from scratch. What must Mr. Cube combine to make his special what? beverage? What? Really? Dioxide and spit, hydrogen and oxygen. Two parts hydrogen. Obviously, it's oxygen. it's Mr. helium and nitrogen. H two O, better known as water. <laughs> this is the version of you don't know Jack that's made for streamers. Woo! Too much hydrogen. Okay, pick a category. The questions have been t tailored to our intelligence. This babe 
baby is. Bodily functions have birthdays too. 10,000 beanies if you get this one. A one, a two, a three. Which of the following would celebrate its bicentennial? A two-year-old loogie, a 20-year-old clump of earwax. Bicentennial means 200 years, so that booger would I be mean, celebrating its uh, 200th birthday. I think I'm starting to realize why I didn't uh, Man, that must be one of those thin ones that, like, sticks to the side play this one before because it skews a little too young. Ugh, I hate those. I think this is, it's kind of hard to tell who its demographic is because it did a bunch of NBA questions. It did some NBA questions assuming you knew about the draft. The category? They'll give a credit card to anybody. But then they anybody. did one that asks you how long a century $30. is, wow. essentially. Okay, now you remember how Christopher Columbus had trouble finding someone to finance his voyages to America until Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand of Spain helped him out? I know well, about Ferdinand. Say that Columbus used the Discover card to finance his westward voyages instead. Which of the following locations would not have turned up on his itemized statement? The Bahamas, Cuba, Puerto Rico, or Florida? Wait, is this about what areas the Discover card is not accepted in? No, Columbus stopped in the Bahamas. Oh. Bahamas. It was it was about where he stopped. Uh, Fair enough. Christopher Columbus. Yeah, because he never set on foot on the America. American continent. And it's a good thing he had his Discover card, because in the New World, they don't take American Express. Because yeah, I would I would have picked Florida okay, otherwise. Category. I overthought that one. Now serving none of the smoke and all of the cancer. 20,000 bucks says you don't know this one. You know, to me, there's nothing sexier than spinning tobacco into a cup all day and developing tongue, lip, and throat cancer. Mmm, that's sexy. If instead of dipping some Copenhagen chewing tobacco, you stuff the city of Copenhagen in your mouth, who will you be spitting into a cup? Danish people, Swiss people, or... The capital of Denmark is Copenhagen. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, nothing better between your cheek and gums than a little Dane. Yeah, let me out of here, yeah? Category, please. If this was made 10 years later, that would have been a Dane Cook reference. What am I doing here? Oh yeah, it's my question. Here we go. Please crash get the skilly up, get back skilly up, no. Old man's morning memories. Keep skilly up, get back skilly up, no. Hey! The category is... Euro Trash. And you pocket 20,000 clams if you get this one. Hey, I was just looking at some old pictures from my vacation overseas. Let's see here. Oh, here's a good one. It's a... Uh, oh, boy, I forget where it is. <laughs> um, well, type it in there if you can help me figure out what this is a picture of. It's now a historical monument. Or what's left of it is. It divided this one city into east and west yep. halves, you know, parts. The, it's in a big the boiling city wall. In Germany. It was finally crumbled. All right, type in your answer. Uh, Way good back grief. in 1961, the East and key not working half the time. That split Berlin into communist and All those times I shout no on my keyboard. It down in 1989. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I built a wall to separate my side of the bedroom from my brother's. But uh, it wasn't such a good idea. Huh, why not? Well, I forgot to put a door in it. All righty, pick one. Let's let's pick all the xenophobic questions. And I believe this one's called Canada. How does twenty thousand dollars sound? So you know that big landmass up north where it's cold. I mean, even colder than it is in the upper parts of the U.S., like Wisconsin. <laughs> Don't even get me started. And up there, they eat things like Canadian bacon and they make a lot of maple syrup, eh? And all the draft dodgers went up there, you know, during the Vietnam War. And for some reason, all these second-rate actors come from up there, like you know, like, for example, Alan Thicke and Jason Priestley and Mike Myers and John Candy and Jim Carrey. Not to mention Paul Schaefer and Roseanne Barr and Michael J. Fox and even Alex Trebek even though he just became a U.S. citizen and everything. And they say a boat when they mean about. And that group, the Bare Naked Ladies, sing that song, If I Had a Million Dollars. You know, they come from up there, too. So anyway, what's the capital of Canada? Quebec, Montreal, Vancouver, or Ottawa? 
Wait, I actually don't know the ca No, I do. No, most of the folks who live in Canada No, I don't. French, and you can't have a capital where they don't speak. How English. do I not know the capital I mean, of Canada? Like a different country or something. It's well, Ottawa, right? Canada has a better educational system than we do. The capital yeah. of Canada is Ottawa. And if you ever visit there, be careful you don't come back as a second-rate actor or the host of a lame game show. <laughs> Wait, that came out wrong. Well, I should have known that. Pick a category. I'm sad that I didn't know the capital of Canada. And this is... I Borg your pardon? This one will get you ten grand. All right, now we've all seen that Borg cube on Star Trek The Next Generation, right? Ooh, scary. How would you calculate the volume of the Borg cube? Oh, Borg fuck. Length times Borg length, Borg length times three, Borg length times Borg length times Borg length, or Borg length plus Borg length. Um, I'm gonna say three. The volume of a cube is the length of one a, B, C, a times B times multiplied by itself twice. A times Which is good to know B if you want to build an instrument squared. of destruction and work uh, I, uh, well, math. I, can help. I hate math. It used to be my best okay, subject, but category. Alrighty, the game's gonna continue after the following commercial. Hey kids, say bit of cheese. Bit of cheese! Bit of cheese, bit of cheese, better than a plate of peas. Gouda, Swiss, and Colby, please. Have a bit of cheese. Bit of cheese cereal contains ten times the recommended daily allowance of calcium. <laughs> Time for the head rush. Keep staring at that screen, because when you see two words that match, you better buzz in. Ah, so this is the jack attack. Bucks, but if you're wrong, your 5,000 bucks is mine. Oh, and don't forget, <laughs> your match better fit this clue. Making a living in Springfield. And you better start making a living by pressing that buzzer. Good luck. The important thing with uh, Jack Attack is patience. Because they will throw fake answers at you very quickly. Although I don't know about the head rush version. Maybe they're nicer. So far they're nicer. Okay, they were pretty nice. Nothing to write home about, but not too shabby. Let's see your final score. That's the game. Green, green, green. What can I say? Good job. And uh, get a social life, you know? Throw a party or something, you know? Write some letters. Hey, thanks for head rushing with me. I gotta go. That star was saying so. going on? They going again or what? Gee, you got a higher score than nobody. If you think you can top that feat, let me know when you're ready to play again. Alright. So, not bad. Um, the only question I got wrong was the Canada capital and that was entirely on me. I felt bad about that. So, that's Head Rush. Um, it's obviously the weakest of the Jack games because it was tailored towards a younger audience, which is fine. Um, although there were some, a couple of questions where I felt a little confused about who they were aiming for demographically. Now, if I was a 12-year-old and they were asking me questions and making jokes about cancer, I would probably laugh because 12-year-olds love edgy humor like that. But 
just the idea that there are questions about sort of college aimed stuff, stuff about sports that goes kind of in depth, and I don't know, it's tough to say. Um, maybe that's why the game didn't do super successful compared to the other Jack games, but um, thanks for watching. Uh, I have the You Don't Know Jack 2015 from Jackbox Party Packs, and so maybe I'll play that at some point too. Have a great day, everybody.